As you can see, this just executed auto comment, auto follow, auto story view even for a large number of my social media profiles. And all you have to do is wait for it. What's up guys, it's Fred again. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a new insane tool that I've personally been using to grow my social media profiles largely passively and to ultimately make money online with. But before we start, I would really appreciate it if you just did me a quick favor by just very, very gently smashing the like button and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. Plus, you can check out my investing channel as well. And with that, let's get started with the video. So first up, before we actually jump into the actual tool, let me first give you a brief update on some of my social media profiles, starting with this Means for Mental Health page, which if you've been following with my channel, you would know that this is a side project I've been doing for mental health, where I would actually want to uh, monetize this Instagram page and perhaps additional content and donate the proceeds to mental health awareness. And so I've been posting a lot of memes uh, pretty much daily, but more importantly for this video, I've actually been able to grow my followers. Um, at first, the traction was quite slow as it usually is with a small page, but after using this tool, after I just, and I just started using it, um, my growth has actually been a lot faster. And for example, if I just briefly open up my recent notifications for this account, we will indeed see that I have gotten a few uh, recent followings. Not to mention, the growth from using this tool, assuming you set it up properly, is almost entirely passive. Plus, you can even grow multiple social media profiles with it uh, using just one tool account. For instance, if we jump over to my other Instagram page, which is actually my main Influencer Unchained page, we'll see that I have already uh, almost 2,100 followers, which has actually been steadily growing, steadily growing, uh, excuse me, uh, starting from when I use this tool. Trust me. And for just a very quick refresher on how to make money with, say, an Instagram page, uh, the first way is to use the link in your bio to promote various things. For instance, if I open up my Influencer Unchained uh, link right here, it'll lead over to this page, which I actually customized completely for free using card.co, but I probably will switch over to Linktree very soon. And I'll show you Linktree in just a bit, but anyhow, the things I'm promoting on this link, uh, in this link are uh, my YouTube channels, um, a course catalog, which is an affiliate uh, platform or affiliate program that I'm actually uh, promoting to get commissions from, my free YouTube ebook, and even a merch store. And if we actually go back to my means for mental health page, I'm also monetizing this with a link in the bio, plus calls to actions in my posts. For example, if I open up one of these posts here on the second page, we'll see that we have, I've customized a call to action, which actually tells people of that link in my bio to check out what this page is all about. And uh, in the future, I'll also update this call to action or do a different one that says you can also check out things like merch and other things that will actually earn this page money if people actually go and purchase our stuff, right? Again, all the stuff will go to, all the money and proceeds will go to charity. Anyhow, if I open up this link tree link here, we'll see that um, these are the different links that I have within it. And uh, first is inf an informational uh, link to one of our posts that tells people what this page is about, all about. And then we have our merch store, which if I actually open up real quick, uh, I can show you it's from Teespring. I actually set it up on Teespring and I have things like mental health related apparel as well as uh, digital or printable rather uh, notebooks and things like that uh, that people can actually purchase from the store. So if I scroll down right here, are some of the different types of merch that we have. Looks pretty slick in my opinion. It's nice. And then uh, finally, uh, we have some other links that also uh, allow people to contribute to mental health. And by the way, the reason I want to actually switch back to Linktree for my Influencer Unchained is that uh, even though card.co is also free and it looks really nice and professional, um, what I think about Linktree that makes it really good is that the links are really consolidated and sort of squeezed together so that when people open up your page on your phone, they'll see all the links. Uh, they're for sure going to see all the links on their phone in their in their one small screen, right? Whereas with card.co, you usually have to scroll down further and, um, and thus some of the stuff below might actually be missed out. So it kind of depends on what you want. For example, if I really wanted to just promote my YouTube channel and have people focus on it, this could actually be fine if say um, some of the stuff on the bottom doesn't have doesn't have to have as much priority. Of course! 
And just really quick as well, this tool I'm about to show you is not limited to growing Instagram accounts and in fact works for a large variety of social media profiles, such as another one that I'm actually using it for is Pinterest. And if you've been following my uh, YouTube channel, you'll know that I am a, a big fan of this platform because not only of the ability to um, have a unique link in each and every one of your posts, which will allow you to basically promote anything you want, for example, uh, any of these YouTube videos that have linked to these posts. and also also, uh, Pinterest is a very fast growing platform and can be used on one's phone as well as a uh, browser. And it just is a really great way to get a lot of traffic passively, especially you start building a, large, uh, a larger account. And some other ways you can monetize and utilize a Pinterest page is, for example, you can even promote uh, ClickBank products and other types of affiliate uh, products. And if we actually check out another example, this is a pretty famous blog called Money Pantry. And they also have a huge uh, Pinterest page where they actually just link to a bunch of their blog articles. And in fact, now uh, if you have your own blog, you can even set up Pinterest to sort of read your blog posts automatically and just grab your posts uh, from your website or blog as you actually post post them and it'll actually post onto their uh, it'll actually post onto your own uh, Pinterest page simultaneously. And just one more thing I want to briefly mention before we dive into an overview and setup of the tool is that by using it, you'll be able to start growing very small accounts and new accounts and which if you actually eventually get to a large enough size, you'll then be able to get a lot of organic traffic and basically see exponential growth. Because for example, if you're able to accrue a certain number of followers, every time you post, they'll be able to interact with your posts, right? And then if they share your posts, it'll allow your posts to go viral. So uh, it'll get to a point eventually with Pinterest, as well Instagram where every time you post once you have enough followers it'll allow you to grow uh, your page even more uh, even more quickly and with that let's now get into the tool I've been wanting to show you guys which is called Jarvi and it can be accessed by going over to jarvi.com which um, it does have a free trial of I think five days you can definitely test it out especially with some of the settings I'll show you in a bit that you can just copy for your own account anyhow Jarvi is again a social media growth uh, software that you download onto your PC or it actually runs on uh, Mac and Linux as well, but you do have to install a uh, Windows virtual machine. Now under one account, you can actually have up to 10 social media profiles that it automates. And it also supports many different types of social media profiles, as I've mentioned, right? Including uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, YouTube, even Quora, Tumblr, Reddit. Uh, I think that is it, but that is a very impressive list in and of itself. Currently, I am using it for Instagram and uh, Pinterest, but I would definitely, uh, I'll definitely test it out with some different platforms as well moving forward. And the way that Jarvi works is that it essentially automates many of the things that uh, all these social media platforms are capable of, right? For example, with Instagram, it'll actually uh, use your account to comment and uh, view people's stories, for example, and follow their pages to actually uh, allow those users to notice your account and go to your page and hopefully follow it. And it is also able to do so in a very safe way as long as you set its settings uh, as, for example, on Instagram, you don't want to go overboard with following a whole bunch of accounts or commenting a whole bu on a whole bunch of them, right? Because it'll obviously get your account flat. So with Jarvi, you can definitely just set uh, timers and even randomize things to make it seem like it's an actual person who is performing all these actions. It'll be easy as one, two. All right, and now we are on the Jarvi platform. And as you can see, I currently have six different accounts that I have running with it. Although um, I'm really only trying to grow three of these accounts because some of the other accounts that I have listed are mainly for sort of muling and doing other tasks uh, so that my main accounts don't actually get flagged for doing certain actions. Mm -hmm. I haven't a clue what's going on here, but I'll act like I do. Now I'm not going to run through each and every detail of setting up Jarvi with various social media profiles, but rather I'll give you a sort of basic overview of what I've done as well as uh, show you what I have set up so you can actually pause your screen and check out my exact settings so that you can perhaps uh, replicate that for your own profile. And starting with Instagram, which is my primary focus, and remember again, you can actually have up to 10 different uh, social media accounts with one uh, Jarvi profile provided you use the basic plan. You can actually expand to a up plan and use even more, uh, automate even more accounts. But that also includes some of these mule accounts or so-called scraper accounts, which I'll get into shortly, which again are used to perform actions uh, in place of your main account so that your main accounts stay safe and don't get flagged. 
But anyway, the first thing you want to do is to just log into the account or accounts, uh, say Instagram accounts that you want to actually grow. For example, I have here uh, means for mental health and it says that status is valid. So I can just click on it real quick and um, it'll be my, you know, some of my login information and all that stuff, right? You just need to punch in your username and password into here. And then um, basically the settings you can just, uh, most of these are not that important, but the most, the main thing what you, that you want to do is to tick basically everything that I have ticked down here. Oh, first you want to enable advanced settings or advanced profile settings. And then right below, the most important thing is to use this, uh, tick this uh, capitalized sentence that says use only the embedded browser. Do not use the API. This is extremely important to check, okay? And then right below, uh, you can also tick this that says allow this account to run without a proxy. And then uh, right under this, uh, this I don't think is that important, but I also have this checked. So you can pretty much just follow all my settings and you should be fine. Moving on and specifically for Instagram, you definitely need to have these so-called scraper accounts. And generally speaking, uh, for every couple of, I think two or three uh, main accounts that you want to grow, you want to have around one scraper account to help. It's basically, uh, for example, what it does is identify people to follow and just scroll through Instagram and things like that, just performing actions so that your main account doesn't have to actually perform those actions and have it count towards the daily uh, tally, so to speak, uh, which will make it a lot less likely that your main account will get flagged. And for example, you again, want to log into your scraper account as well, which will be just another Instagram account that you find, you know, is not as important. You can literally just go and sign up for one and just use it for it. For example, down here I have this random account that I just signed up for that I literally just use for my scraper account, right? And all you need to do is to just log in and then under your tags right here, you want to identify it with uh, a tag such as scraper so that later on uh, for example with this account you'll be finding followers on instagram and um, for your follower sources you'll be ticking scraper later on right so just have a name here it doesn't necessarily have to be scraper but this is a general name that most people use and for some of these advanced settings, which again, you can access by clicking on or checking this advanced or show advanced profile settings option here, you can pretty much just copy what I have right here to essentially, for example, delay some of these uh, actions if any errors happen on Instagram just to keep the account safe. So just use the exact numbers that I have here. This generally works pretty, uh, pretty okay, or you can make it slightly higher if you want to be even more careful. Uh, but anyhow, I've been having pretty much no problems with these settings. And below this, if I scroll down some of these other settings you can just check as well just make everything the same as mine right and below that everything else is uh, just a couple more things you want to check like optimize API calls enable API full emulation and then finally disable auto sync right here and then to actually set up what exactly we want Jarvi to do for us on our uh, various social media accounts, such as, for example, for Instagram, we want to first of all head over to the Tools tab on the left here, and then just click on, uh, double click on whichever account you want to set up for. And by the way, you can see that we have a tally of the stuff and the actions that have already been done on my various accounts um, throughout the day. Anyway, if I open up my first page, Means for Mental Health, you can again copy my settings. I'm not gonna run, I'm not gonna talk through each and every one of them because there's too many, but I'll just uh, sort of scroll through so you can pause the video if you need to and just copy my exact settings for you know basically everything here and by the way the first part here is following right so when you again you when you use your instagram account to or when jarvi uses your instagram account to follow uh, other users it'll actually um uh, notify those users right and then they'll it'll give them a chance to follow you back that's sort of how uh this works and how you grow your account basically just copy up all these settings here i'm just gonna scroll down slowly yada 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 uh, most of the bottom half under user filters doesn't really have to be um, checked. And uh, yeah, I just scroll through a bit after follow actions. Okay, you can just copy these as well. This is sort of a basic uh, basic settings that work really well. If you want to add, add advanced uh, actions like commenting on people's posts and things like that, which I don't really do on Instagram just yet, you can definitely add that at your own risk, right? And then uh, this is the settings tab under follow. But the next tab you want to actually go into is this follow sources tab and all you have to do here is to check this option that says follow specific users and we're later on going to show you, I'm later on going to show you how you can funnel um, the list of users for this account to follow using your scraper account okay but anyhow this is all you have to do right here uh, don't worry about these usernames down below because that actually came from somewhere else but anyway just check this and then uh, if I go back over to tools 
and then um, this time I'm gonna go over to my scraper account and um, this one is designated for my my second uh, account here called scraper 2 for mental health is the one designated for my mental health uh, awareness page okay because this one actually goes in and grabs and searches for users that are following pages in this niche specific niche um, to get followers from right and so if we go into the settings of this scraper account right here, and again, this can be any random Instagram account that you don't really need that you can just create and log into on Jarvi. Uh, again, you can just scroll, I can just scroll through this and you can just pause uh, the video if you need to and just copy up my settings. So I'll just gradually scroll down. You can just uh, pause and copy these, yada, yada, yada. Scroll more and scroll more. All right, that should be pretty good. Okay, this is important here where it says extracted users You definitely want to check these two and then um, down below you want to add the account uh, You want to actually send your followers uh, the followers that you find on Instagram or the users rather uh, To send to the account the main account to actually have that main account do the following right and here I need have this account added under this list that is means for mental health, right? That's the name of my page so there's that and then um, up here you want to go over to follow sources as well to designate where you want to actually find users on Instagram to uh, get those lists of people to follow right and here I only have this one option checked which is follow followers of target accounts don't worry about the rank here don't touch this it basically just shows priority determines priority between like if you check a lot of stuff but since we only have one check it doesn't matter anyhow I have this checked and uh, speaking of these target accounts, these are the big accounts on Instagram in this niche, right? The mental health and memes niche that I want to grab uh, uh, users uh, from to follow, right? Because it's more likely for people who are interested in those pages to also be interested in my page, right? And so here down below, uh, all I needed to do was type in the username right here in this box and click on add account followers and it'll add that Instagram account right below into this list right and these are this currently the accounts I have that I actually target with my scraper to get uh, users from that follow these accounts for my mental health page to then go follow those people I have no idea what I'm doing but I know I'm doing it really really well and this is basically in a nutshell how you would use Jarvi to automate uh, Instagram accounts to gain more followers. And um, by the way, to actually activate those tools, you want to go over to the, again, tools tab and then to toggle on all these different, uh, the follow and unfollow options. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, let me again go over to my mean, uh, means for mental health page to show you my unfollow settings. This is very important as well because you don't want your account to rack up too many followers, otherwise it would look kind of weird and unprofessional. So anyway, we have our uh, follow settings already done. Now I'm going to go over to the unfollow tab on the top left here. And you can again just copy up all of my settings as I gradually scroll through them. All right, so here we have the unfollow settings. Uh, these are the first few uh, lines and I'm just going to keep scrolling down. And let me actually shrink my uh, webcam here as well so you can see better. Alrighty, so let me just scroll through, scroll through. Mm -mm. Just copy this up. By the way, um, all these settings I actually got from and learned from like a like great experts in Jarvi, right? So these are relatively these are they should be very very safe uh, settings uh, to use for the platform. That'll also get you a decent number of followers. Okay, so yeah, those are my unfollow settings, and that is pretty much it. Stop it. Get some help. And finally, even though I do have Pinterest also set up on Jarvi, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, otherwise this video is going to be way too long. But in a nutshell, I basically just customized um, some really basic settings and there really aren't as many people doing this online that I found, so I wasn't really able to get people to sort of base this off of. There are a few YouTube videos and whatnot, but they're from like a year or a couple of years ago. But anyway, my settings seems to be working quite well so far, and I haven't really changed anything under the uh, main follow settings here. So you don't, this, I don't think you have to, you would have to copy up my settings. But the follow sources is where this is the more important part, where to, you would actually enter, uh, similar to what we did for Instagram, under follow sources, you want to actually enter the accounts that you want to target to grab uh, users from to follow with your account, right? And with Pinterest, you don't have to have uh, to my knowledge you don't have to have a so-called scraper account you can just directly use your main account to do the follow sources and everything 
And as for the Instagram stuff, I'll also link the main video that I actually learned from uh, from an expert on Jarvi in the description box below in case you want to follow the super in-depth uh, detailed steps. And also you can feel free to comment down below if you have any questions about the platform and whatnot and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Anyway with that, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to grab my free YouTube side hustle ebook in the first link in the description box below. Uh, be sure to smash the like button and I will see you in the next video. Peace.